guys' feet. So I am going to do just a random vlog tonight. I felt like making myself some coconut oil lotion. I, uh, I saw Lee in a fishbowl do this. I'm actually going to link her video below in case you're interested in watching that. And I've seen some stuff on Pinterest and I've got all kinds of stuff all over my boards. And so it's about time I make one of them. So I thought I'd start with this because it's kind of simple, pretty straightforward. And uh, my skin could really use the help right now. <laughs> all the uh, all the IVF injections and whatnot. Um, my my skin is is in need of healing. So I'm just going to start out with some basics. If you're not familiar with coconut oil, it's it's some really good stuff. You can use it for all kinds of things. You can use it in making beauty items like this, and you can actually use it in baking. You can use it as a replacement for butter. It's much healthier for you. Um, I know many vloggers out there that only use organic coconut oil, straight coconut oil, on their baby's skin as a skin healer. There's a whole list of things that coconut oil is good for. And if I think of it, or if I remember, I will try and put uh, another link below that is a list, a really big list I found, of all different kinds of things you could do with coconut oil. But, first of all, not all coconut oils are created equal. So I'm just going to do a quick little rundown here before I get into this. Um, if you are looking to do this for cooking or beauty, there's a certain kind of coconut oil you want to look for because you don't want chemicals and unnecessary ingredients going on your body or in your body. And pretty much the four basic rules of coconut oil is you want to find one that either says virgin or extra virgin on the label. You also would want to find one that says organic. And you also want it to say either cold pressed or expeller pressed. Pretty much all three of those things means there's no chemicals in it. There's no funny stuff in there that you don't need. Um, and the fourth thing sounds kind of basic, but you've, you want it to look white. There is some coconut oil out there I've seen that doesn't look white. It's like an off-white or a yellowish. You want it to smell and taste like coconut because if it doesn't pretty much they put something else in there to get rid of that flavor or smell and again it's a chemical that you don't need there are ones out there that advertise their coconut oil is not smelling like coconut because not everybody likes coconut so. so they are advertising to that market of people but at the same time they're putting stuff in it that you really don't want in your recipes or on your skin so the few that I have found or that I've heard of that are good are Carrington Farms, which is carried at Costco, Kirkland, which is a Costco only brand, and I actually have that one here to show you. It looks like that, and it's a really big jar. There's two of these in a pack, which is an awesome deal. Um, the other one is Garden of Life makes their own coconut oil. That's, uh, that's a really good brand that you can find at the vitamin shop. And if you don't have a vitamin shop by you, but you do have a GNC, GNC carries this one, Nativa, which is another good one. And last but not least, the other one that I found that I was going to get is by Viva Labs. I've only found it on Amazon.com, and I actually was going to get that one, but despite it being marked as prime, it was not going to get to me as uh, fast as I would like. I'm an impatient person. So uh, I ended up going to both GNC and Costco just to stock up. But Viva Labs through Amazon is another good one. Um, and just for reference, this one right here from GNC, this is 15 fluid ounces. And I did get it on sale. It's typically $9.99 each. They had it on sale last week for buy one, get one 50% off. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I got two of these for essentially 15 bucks. I thought that was a good deal until I went to Costco and found this monster of a guy. And this is 42.3 ounces. And you get two of these for 25 bucks. So this one wins. Cost-wise cost of this. Okay, so that's that about coconut oil. Now, with the lotion, I'm, I'm going to attempt to make something that's more like um, 
a thicker lotion, kind of like a body butter. We'll see how it turns out. I've never done this before, so I don't know if I'm going to get the consistency right. But what you want is coconut oil, and then you want some kind of liquid oil that you can cut it with. You want to pick an oil that's good for your skin and has other healing benefits. A lot of people go with almond oil or olive oil or grapeseed oil. I am going to try something different. Avocado oil. Now this is by one of my favorite brands now. Uh, I get a lot of vitamins that are that brand. They're, they're a really good brand. Uh, their stuff is pure. It doesn't have junk in it that you don't need. And vitamin-wise, their vitamins um, absorb into your body better than most brands out there. Not all brands are created equal. So I figured if I liked their vitamins, I'd get their oil. Um, they make all of the oils I just mentioned. I did get this off of Amazon. And even if you get a different brand, just make sure it says 100% pure and that when you look on the back, there's nothing else in it other than the oil that you're looking for. The other thing that some people put into it um, exclusively is vitamin E oil. Now, I'm going to mix it. I'm going to put a little vitamin E oil into this just because a vitamin E oil is an awesome skin healer. And uh, it's really good for dry skin. And again, this is another one of the ones where not all brands are created equal. Now, the one I have is by Sundown Naturals. Again, that's another one that I know based on the vitamins that I take. Really good brand for the same exact reasons that I like the Now brand. And again, this is another one that you want to read the ingredients. Make sure it's pure. There's a lot of ones out there that mix other things in with the vitamin E oil. The other way you can tell is, see it looks kind of clear. Now in real life, it's not quite entirely clear. There, there's a little bit of a yellowish there. That's okay, but if it looks really, really yellow, chances are it is not pure. That, that's the rule with vitamin E oil. The, the one thing that I did forget to mention about the avocado oil, the reason why I am trying avocado oil is I had a facial technician just a couple weeks ago tell me that avocado oil is awesome for dry skin. He actually recommended taking just a little drop of this and putting it all over the face at night if you're if I was having dry skin issues which I was at the time um, and of course you get the omega benefits from avocado oil and I like avocado uh, despite it being straight avocado oil this actually does not smell like avocados it, it smells pretty smellless doesn't really smell like anything okay and then the other thing you want is some kind of essential oil that has a smell that you would like this lotion to smell like. Now you don't have to do this. You can just leave it on natural and have it smell like coconut oil. But if you uh, have a flavor that you really like of essential oil smell wise, you can add it in. Um, of course, there's all the benefits of the different essential oils. You can take that into account. The one that I am using, again by Now Brand, is bergamot. Pretty much because this is my favorite scent in the whole wide frickin' world. <laughs> and it is very hard to find anything flavored this. Um, whenever I run into candles or lotions or bath gels that have this flavor on it, I, I like stock up because it's really hard to find and it is my favorite. It's kind of hard to describe, but um, essential oil-wise, bergamot is um, very uplifting. Good to keep the spirits up, good to chase away the depression. Um, and again, it smells clean. It smells really clean. It kind of has a little bit of a flowery scent to it, but it's not overpowering because I'm not a flowery kind of girl. Um, that's about the best I can do to describe the scent if you're not familiar with it. So that's what I am doing. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to get my ingredients ready here and I'm going to show you how to do this in a second. All right, so I am going to be doing a double batch of this. Most of the recipes I have found are, they call for one cup of coconut oil and other various ingredients that I've already explained. I'm going to be doing two cups just because I want to do a larger batch. And if you get this one, this is about two cups. You want to pack it down tight, which I haven't done a very good job of, but that's close enough. Um, some people will just say go ahead and mix this up with the ingredients. That works, but 
after looking around and researching this, the easier way to do this is to heat this up in your microwave. Now, the way you want to do that, you want to do it about 10 seconds at a time so that it doesn't get overheated. The coconut oil in this hard form will turn back to liquid at about 76 degrees. So keep that in mind if you're making this um, lotion in the summer and your house is warm or cool. That could work well for you in either which direction depending on how cold or how hot it is at the time. So coconut oil melting point is 76 degrees. I am going to put this in my microwave back there and melt this down into a liquid. Be right back. All right, so there's my melted down coconut oil and it looks like it did a pretty good job of guessing the amount because it's right about at two cups. And by the way, right now my kitchen smells like the tropics, which is an awesome thing because I love that. If you don't like the smell of coconuts, you may want to put a mask on when you warm this up because there is no mistaking that you are toying around with coconut oil once you stick it in the microwave. <laughs> All right, so I am going to put this in my mixing bowl here. I'm doing this with just a basic hand blender because I don't feel like pulling my KitchenAid out. <laughs> um, but I have seen people do it with KitchenAids. Either way works, um, especially if you bring it down in an oil, definitely either way works. The KitchenAid will probably, um, or any stand-up mixer I should say, would probably make your life easier because you're going to want to beat this for a while to get a lot of air into it. But if you're willing to just stand here with the hand mixer in your hand, then you're fine. <laughs> All right, so in that goes. Two cups of melted down coconut oil. And I am going to put in one third cup of all of the other oils that I'm doing. So what's in here right now is mostly the avocado oil. But I've left, I don't know, maybe a centimeter of room at the top. And now I'm going to put in some of the vitamin E and just mix it in. So the bottom line is, whatever oils you're using aside from the coconut oil, I'm having it total one-third cup to every two cups of melted down coconut oil. All right, so there's that. And now I'm putting that in. And now for the scent. Most of the recipes I've seen they put in, I don't know, four to six drops of this per cup. Again, I'm doing a double batch, so bare minimum, I would put in eight to 12. But I like my lotion is super scented, and like I've already said, I'm addicted to the smell. So I am actually going to put in somewhere between 15 to 20 drops of this for two cups. So... I know that sounds like a lot, but because I'm doing a double batch that's really only three or four drops over what the average recipe would call for. So here we go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I went the, for the gusto, 20. And oh, that smells wonderful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. That's it. So now what you want to do, and I will spare you guys the sound, um, you want to mix this up on low just to incorporate it at first and also to make sure you don't end up with oil everywhere. And once it starts to uh, turn back into a solid a little bit, you can up the speed as high as your mixer or hand mixer will let you or allow you without throwing it all over your kitchen. Because the idea is you want to get as much air in there as possible. So, I will come back to you in a second and show you what this looks like after I am done beating the tar out of it. Oh, and you know what? There is one other ingredient that I am going to put into the recipe that I'm going to try. Um, this isn't always in all the recipes that I've seen, but if you want to try and cut the oily feel, of the lotion, if you don't like really oily lotion, and technically the, all of this is oil, you can cut it with cornstarch if you don't mind having that in your beauty products. Um, I don't really see a problem with it personally, but if you want it to be completely 
uh, natural and just be all oil. You may not be into this. I am going to put in a heaping teaspoon to my two cup recipe. And then that goes. And now I'm going to beat the tar out of it and be back in a second. Alright, so I've been beating this for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, it's still a liquid. Um, pretty much that's because I warmed my coconut oil up for about 40 seconds to get the full two cups to melt down, 10 seconds at a time. So this is still warm to the touch. If you have this problem, or if it's warmer in your house when you're doing this, like I said, the melting point is 76 degrees, what you can do is you can put this inside of another bowl filled with ice and continue to beat it. And you should see this start to turn to uh, kind of like a, a frosting consistency. And the more air you beat into it, the more whipped of a lotion this will be. So it looks like I'm going to have to do that. So I'm going to go and grab a bowl and some ice, and I will be right back. All right, so here's what I've done. Ice on the bottom, oil on the top. And I'm going to continue beating this. And when I come back, we should have lotion. Okay, guys, so I actually ended up letting the oil sit in the ice bowl for about 10 minutes to get it back down to room temperature because it was rather warm. And after that, I beat it on low for a couple of minutes. Then I pulled the bowl out of the ice and continued to beat it for probably another 8 to 10 minutes. And what you end up with, photo bomb from the honey, uh, what you end up with is that. And it is nice and whipped and awesome. And again, it smells like the tropics in my kitchen. Um, anybody who's going to make a larger batch of this and you're afraid of how long it will take you to use it, coconut oil has about a two-year shelf life, so no worries there. And I've seen a lot of people store this stuff in jelly jars and canning jars because there's a lot of places out there where you can uh, put a, a lotion dispenser through the top of it. I didn't have one of those handy, even though I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, I did, however, just have a basic lotion jar handy. You can put this in any kind of jar you want, whatever you deem worthy. I'm using that because that's what I've got on hand. So I'm going to put this in the jar, and I'll come back in a second and show you what it looks like. All right, so there you have it. Future reference, um, as I just learned, the reason why people use jelly jars is because it's easier to get in the bottle. <laughs> um, do not try using a funnel to get it into a bottle like this. The stuff is uh, a little too thick when it's, it's whipped to get through a hole that small. It just doesn't work. Um, however, my husband had an awesome idea. He cut down a water bottle for me. That's just about the right circumference to attach to the top of this and kind of use a spoon to jam it down in there and it worked perfectly and it only took a couple of minutes. Um, so I'm probably going to keep this for future use so I don't have to cut down another water bottle. Um, so there you have it. There is my lotion. This is still kind of oily. If you're not liking um, oily lotion, this may not be for you. Next time I make this, I may cut it with even more cornstarch, which would help with that, but it would also make it thicker, so you probably wouldn't want to put it in something like this. You'd probably want to put it into a jar similar to what my overflow has gone into. See what that looks like? It looks like body butter. So if you put even more cornstarch in this, it's going to be even thicker, which I think would be great for a nice thick body butter in the winter, but like I said, you're going to want to put it in a jar like this. So, there you have it. That's it. That is what I am doing to try and heal my skin these days. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and go and make some coconut oil lotion for yourself. Bye.